Now, for decades, we've been happy to let Hollywood define the world beautiful. But how does Tinseltown keep the sparkle in the starlet's eyes? Well, we sent Martin Lewis to find out. <laughs> Anna Nick, Martin Lewis here in Hollywood, where I'm on part two of my investigation into Hollywood's obsession with beauty. Why do Hollywood stars look so stunningly glamorous and healthy? Well, it takes time, money, and a great team of specialists to achieve that completely natural look. One of Hollywood's leading hairdressers is Umberto of Beverly Hills. Ooh, I want to be just like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you too. This is the place where budding actresses and models come for the full makeover so that they too can attempt to capture the look of Umberto's star clients. Laura Layton from 90210, Raquel Welch, Natalie Cole, Janet Jackson. They let us take over. We're in command. And for everything that they do, for every role that they play, we choose something wonderful for them, create a whole new personality for them. With Umberto's prices at upwards of 150 quid a throw, he can afford to be creative. You know, I am the maestro. I am the Botticelli of hair. So I create. This is my illusion. This is beauty. I'm going to give her a great look. I'm going to change her personality. I'm going to give her confidence. Since Umberto's long list of celebrity clients includes Daryl Hannah and Bridget Fonda, I had to ask the inevitable hairdresser question. You probably get to know some intimate stories because don't people share all their great stories with their hairdresser? We never tell. Not even for money? Not even for a penny or for a million dollars. Once you've been quaffed, it's time to put your best face on. A makeup artist that many stars turn to is Carol Shaw. Carol has made up some of the top names in the film and modeling world. And so, as she worked on a budding actress, she shared some of her secret makeup tips of the stars. Gina Davis, it's her favorite thing. She loves blush and the more I give her the happier she is. Helena Christensen also they won't leave the house without it. And uh, stars big on eye makeup? Yeah absolutely. Angelica Houston loves mascara. Loves mascara and she's got these long long gorgeous eyelashes. I will spend probably more time than I should on covering up every little thing and they love that. It makes them feel you know more confident and secure. Makeup gives you confidence. I wonder if that meant that her star clients were really just plain Janes without their faces on. Oh, God. I would love to say I paint it all on, but they're gorgeous. They're <laughs> extraordinary. They're exceptional. They're gorgeous. So much for a beauty that can be applied with a brush. But supposing after all that you still don't feel you make the cut, there's only one thing left for it. Let someone else do it. In this town, young women come here every year by the tens of thousands trying to make it in the movie business. Many of them go to see their agent, their uh, photographer, uh, uh, modeling studio, and they're told, go get your nose done and come back. Go get your breast done and come back. Go get liposuction done and come back. So I get a lot of referrals from agencies like that, as a matter of fact. And they might be spending up to £6,000 on surgery to look as good as stars who've already spent that and more. Actresses come in quite early for their changes, for aging changes, particularly if we're talking like facelifts or eyelid surgery. Because a tiny line on a 42-foot wide screen is suddenly six feet wide. And one celebrity everybody knows has had plastic surgery is Michael Jackson. What do you think about his surgery? It's something that he obviously wanted and his surgeon uh, agreed to do uh, for him and he had it operated several times. So I don't agree with that. There's one surgeon in town who has a photograph in his office and a sign below it of Michael Jackson, and it says, I did not do Michael Jackson's nose. Hair rollers, makeup brush, surgeon's knife. You see, in Hollywood, beauty isn't only skin deep. Now to save up for that operation. Good luck, old chap. <laughs> Thank you, Martin, yeah. very much indeed. <laughs>